and welcome to Flow Industries Hydraulic Vertical Reciprocating Conveyor Product Demo. I'm your host Dan Hex, Director of Inside Sales here at Flow. For those of you who are not familiar with Flow Industries, Flow designs and manufactures industry-leading equipment designed to vertically move material loads between 10 pounds and 200,000 pounds. Vertical reciprocating conveyors, or VRCs, accommodate safe and efficient vertical movement of materials, not people, between multiple levels in a wide variety of applications and can be used in interior or exterior applications. Not only do VRCs allow you to maximize the use of your space, they do so in a safer manner and more efficient manner than other vertical lifting means such as forklifts or scissors lifts. As the founder of the VRC industry in 1977, Flo was a key author of federal and state VRC codes such as ASME B20.1, which apply specifically to VRCs and lifts that move materials, not people. And with over 19,000 Flow VRCs in operation, we have the experience and technical expertise to deliver robust and long-lasting solutions to accommodate your specific vertical lifting needs. Flow offers both hydraulic and mechanical VRCs. While both offer safe and efficient vertical lifting options, each has specific attributes that make them a better choice for certain lifting applications. So, what are the differences? The most obvious difference between a hydraulic VRC and a mechanical VRC is that the hydraulic lifts use compressed fluid to generate the power needed to lift the VRC carriage and the materials inside. While the mechanical VRCs use a heavy-duty roller chain attached to a synchronized mechanical lifting mechanism mounted atop guide columns to lift and lower the carriage and cargo. Today we will be reviewing our hydraulic VRC equipment and discuss each product's features, advantages, and benefits. With hydraulic VRCs, a remote-mounted electric motor pump actuates and transfers hydraulic fluid from the reservoir to the cylinders, basically raising the energy level of the fluid, increasing its pressure. This pressure creates the energy to move the VRC carriage and its payload upward. As hydraulic fluid is released, the carriage descends. Let's take a look at our hydraulic VRCs. The Flow D-Series hydraulic VRC is perfect for applications that require lifting to a second level, like a mezzanine or a balcony. Commonly referred to as a pallet lift because of its size, the D-Series has a maximum carriage size of 6 feet by 6 feet and a standard load capacity of 3,000 pounds. The standard vertical rise for a Series D-Lift is 15 feet and the standard travel speed is 17 feet per minute. The D-Series lift is capable of up to 10 cycles per hour or 100 cycles per day. Let's take a closer look at the structure of the Series D-Lift. The D-Series is a two-post cantilever-styled VRC. Using a cantilever configuration allows three load patterns, a 90-degree load pattern, a C pattern, and a Z pattern. This means you can load from the front and unload from the side, 90-degree load pattern, load and unload from the front, C pattern, load from one side and unload from the opposing side, Z pattern, this simply means more loading and unloading flexibility to maneuver loads, especially in space-constrained areas. Because the carriage is cantilevered off the guide columns, the D-Series lift has no overhead restrictions, limiting the amount of available load height. Unlike a hydraulic freight elevator that requires a 5-foot minimum pit depth to accommodate the hydraulics, the D-Series 2-inch direct-acting hydraulic cylinders are mounted between the 6-inch guide columns located on the carriage back frame. And the direct-acting cylinders mean there are no cables, chains, shivs, sprockets, bearings, or other components that can break or require lubrication. What does that mean for you? A huge savings of time and money during installation. And with a NEMA 12 rated remote mounted control panel and motor pump that arrive at the job site pre-wired from Flow, installation just got one step easier. The D-Lift's dual acting cylinders are designed for one cylinder to actuate, pushing the carriage half of the total vertical travel distance, at which time the second cylinder pushes the carriage the remaining vertical length of the vertical rise. The cylinders are actuated by a remote mounted hydraulic pump. Transmission of the lifting force 
is direct from the base of the guide columns to the carriage using a dual pack ram. The D-Series uses physical stops at both the ground and upper levels. At the ground level, the carriage stops by making contact with the floor. At the upper level, the carriage is stopped by jack screws. Jack screws are adjustable by approximately two inches, allowing for fine tuning of vertical travel. As the carriage arrives at the upper level, the uprights of the carriage make contact with the jack screws and the hydraulic system begins to pressurize. The pressure switch shuts off the motor pump. The built up pressure in the system prevents the carriage from drifting or sinking even after long periods of being idle at the upper level, providing for highly stable loading and unloading. The D-Series is also equipped with a hydraulic line velocity fuse, which regulates the flow of hydraulic fluid in and out of the cylinders. This safety feature ensures that in the event of a hydraulic line break or cylinder failure, the flow of hydraulic fluid is limited to prevent the uncontrolled carriage descent. The D-Series lift can be installed in an empty elevator shaft, in through floor applications, or is ideal for self-storage facilities, mezzanines, and balcony applications. Like the D-Series, the 21 Series 2-Post hydraulic lift is perfect for applications that require lifting to a second level like a mezzanine or a balcony. The 21 Series can reach 22 feet of vertical travel, 7 more feet than the Series D. And the 21 Series offers a larger carriage size and increased weight capacity over the D-Series. The 21 Series offers a maximum carriage size of 12 feet by 10 feet and a capacity up to 6,000 pounds. Please note that the overall lifting capacity is determined by the carriage size and options added to the carriage that can increase its overall weight. The 21 series lifts are also available in a straddle or cantilever configuration, providing options for your specific application. As shown with the D series lift, the cantilever option offers loading from three sides, while a straddle configuration offers loading from two sides. The 21 series lift is capable of 10 cycles per hour or 100 cycles per day at a standard vertical travel speed of 24 feet per minute with an upgrade to 30 feet per minute possible. Let's take a closer look at unique features of the series 21. The 21 series carriage is lifted and lowered by chain over sprocket actuated by column mounted hydraulic cylinders. Transmission of the lifting force is through roller chain attached to the cylinders and carriage. A torsion bar links the two cylinders to ensure both cylinders move at the same speed to equalize the load and ensure the carriage remains level at all times. The 21 series utilizes mechanical stops to ensure positive leveling with the upper deck. A pressure switch also prevents carriage drifting or sinking at the upper level for stable loading and unloading. In the unlikely event of a chain failure, Flow certified safety cams will stop the descent of the carriage. The 21 series is also equipped with a hydraulic line velocity fuse, which ensures that in the event of a hydraulic line break or cylinder failure, the flow of hydraulic fluid is limited to prevent uncontrolled carriage descent. When specifically looking at the advantages of a hydraulic VRC, keep in mind your current and near future vertical lifting needs. Do you need to lift items to a second level only that is between 15 and 22 feet above the ground? Do you need to lift items to a second level 10 times or less per hour? Are the items you are lifting each time 6,000 pounds or less? Do you have limited space for your lifting solution? Are you working with limited budget resources? If you answered yes to most of the questions above, a hydraulic VRC solution may be the best solution for your vertical lifting needs. Still not sure a hydraulic VRC is right for your application? Schedule a meeting with a flow representative. No matter your vertical lifting needs, flow can engineer a lifting solution for you. Thanks for your time.